Hi there, it's Mel Curtis from SciPoint. One of the questions that came up in the recent Talk with the Experts Rails session was around general performance and I'm going to show you one of the most underused uh, functions that, that I think there is in Rails and that's using uh, the stale method. So what this allows you to do is respond with a 304 not modified if one of your objects hasn't been changed um, which means that you can prevent the entire process of, of rendering uh, an entire template um, simply because there's no need to and your browser will handle sending the, the correct headers for this and Rails will handle sending the correct response headers as well. So let's have a look at my controller. I just have a basic respond with and a bunch of menus which renders a whole lot of um, of, of values into it to JSON format. So I'm going to use a little API client here and I'm going to send um, that request and it's bringing back status 200 and a response time of 800 milliseconds which is not the quickest. So we can get it down to 495 by refreshing a few times. So it's sending in if modified since sometime in 2012 but because we're not actually dealing with that we're just ignoring it. So what we can use in here if stale and then we can just send through an object and it will check for the um, updated at value of that object so um, again if if that hasn't been updated since the last modified value which is sent by the browser it's just going to return a 304 not modified it's not actually going to run the view okay so let's actually make that request now we need to set a, a future um, if modified since since that current account has actually been modified recently. So we're going to set a value um, since it was since it was edited and it won't have been edited since the 11th of December 2013. So if we send that request we return to 304 not modified 38 milliseconds much faster. Now your browser will know to serve up that same page from its cache so in its basic form, it's as easy as that. You can send through a few more tags, or in, in our case, we actually have a, um, a separate column on an account that we use for the uh, last modified value. But by default, Rails does a very good job of automatically handling that when you just send it through an active record model. And that greatly reduces the amount of uh, time or the perceived latency uh, that the user experiences when viewing your pages.